Well, now we've got um, something rather different for you here. Um, you've probably seen the, the price on the thumbnail and you're wondering, what does it mean? What's exactly involved in this? Well, let me tell you, right from the start, you've got this um, block building uh, with the corrugated uh, roof on the top. Uh, that's, that's where it all starts. So you come to the next building, which has got the two blue doors and the kind of step out there that goes up to the, the two blue doors, the stone steps, that's included. Then you can see the two green doors, uh, the two big green gates, I should say, that uh, give vehicular access into like a garage, into a garage uh, and storage area. And then it goes on. You can see the the big white wall. That's that, that's all part of the same thing, and we go around. Then you see the house that turns sort of ninety degrees to the wall. Uh, there's two buildings there: one smaller, one larger. That's all included. And then behind there, you can actually see Sarah locking up um, a stone building there. That's the last building. So basically, all of that is included for the money stated on the thumbnail and I'll put it in the description as well if you've missed the thumbnail but I very much doubt you've missed the thumbnail uh, it's pretty obvious uh, it's usually why people click on the video in the first place and so we'll we'll pan around you can see now more clearly the stone steps you can see the garage beyond those double green gates and you can see uh, part of a really, really nice sun terrace, like a private sun terrace um, on top of the garage and storage area. And it kind of connects the two um, houses up. Now, the house on the right, in fairness, needs a complete renovation, totally doing up. And obviously you'd want to render and, and maybe put a slightly prettier roof on the lean-to area on on the end there uh but the but the other but the other house the the house on the left that's uh with with a new roof on you can live in there now um you you can totally live in there and the stone building on the left well you can either turn that into a shed i i don't know whether you'd get uh, a habitation license ever for it uh, it's but it's a, a wonderful piece of history it's an old water mill now, the river was diverted or, or dried up. I imagine diverted. Uh, there's no reason for a river to dry up in these parts. But you can clearly see behind the whole building where the, where, where the river used to go um, by the vegetation and the, the, the layout in general. So we're going to sort of come back now. You can clearly see now the terrace uh, on the top there and Sarah waving madly for me to um, <laughs> avoid some stuff but um, yeah you come back and, and this top terrace here that the cleaned land right behind the the stone building there you can see that olive tree that's leaning in and back of that is where the land so I'm gonna skew around now there are some ruined buildings at the back that don't belong to you but they don't give any problem to you and to be honest until i got the drone up and i'd already done the video inside and around the house you don't see it and uh, you, you see it on that terrace i suppose if it didn't have that green uh, fencing along the, the top of the wall but that gives you a lovely feeling of uh privacy and you could really hold some really nice little soirees there's a barbecue area that, that's included and already built uh, all there and so where Sarah's walking up you can drive up onto um, onto the land here without any bother whatsoever there's a couple of thousand square meters and there you can see that where the water would have come out look from the back of the stone building you can see that, it, that like a trough cut out that's where the water would have um, exited I think it's exit might have even been entered, I suppose. Uh, yeah, more likely entered. And, uh, and then the river continued on down 
uh, where the road is now, I guess. Yeah, there's nowhere, nowhere else for it to go. But yeah, there were seven of these water mills in the area. Um, it just, really locally, there's a, a couple of ruined ones you can see from the top of the garden there. But there's the garden, we're flying over it now, where, where it's all nice and clean. You can see the new roof on the habitable part of the building, quite clearly. And you can see that the, just the top of where that, 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 that terraced area is as well now. So anyway, but, I mean, there's water mills all, all over the place, but rare to find one like this. It's still got the, the, the wheel in there. Now, of course, it's yours. You can take out the wheel and make a decoration out of it, use it as a shed, or just keep it as a curiosity. Hello, good morning. Another beautiful morning this morning. Right, today we're at a brand new listing. So literally, Paul and I haven't been here before. So this property all should be on today. And this is really quite interesting. We've got an old mill. It's part of seven old m mills that used to, um, the wheels are inside. So it would be for grinding um, maize or wheat. The river ran dry many years ago. This top plot, basically, where, you, where it's clean, this belongs to the property. So you've got a nice garden, flat. We've got peach, apple, fig, plum, and... Ah, persigou, peach, sorry, okay. So there's a good variety of established trees. They've got fruit on, look, looking healthy. And... Let's go and have a look at the mill first because it's our first property and then we'll just go through them all because it's quite extensive. You, do you want to have a look just from here and like look all the way down? Because it's all of the buildings. There's three separate arti urban artigos and they're all sort of joined together in one way or another. The property is, is habitable but there's also it, a lot you can do to it to increase the size of it and interlink it a little bit more. Not sure that you'd ever make this for habitation, but for its interest alone, I aim not to go through the floor here, but I think it's definitely worth showing you because it's just really rather lovely. So I don't know how the light's going to cope. Okay. So I think I can go about this far before I risk disappearing. Uh, the water used to come in here. These were part of obviously the wheels for the grinding. It would flow through there. And on the other side of the land, if you look down, you can see there's another one of the ruined mills. Please don't go through that floor. <laughs> so it's, it's something quirky to have. It, that's really quite nice. Nice bit of history. Yeah. Okay, so let's go and have a look at the house. Now, the property goes down to the fence there. You can see you get gate with the red bit on the top. Beyond that, it's not yours. There's another get door there, and I'll show you that afterwards. You can see the sign on the, on the wall here that it was um, rebuilt or refurbished in 1946. And let's go through this door. Because it's our first time here and there's three houses all together, we might get a little bit lost ourselves, to be honest. Let's go in here. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to go into the house and we'll come back out and I'll show you that part afterwards. So this is completely habitable. And... This is where we were a minute ago, out of the door that you can't see. But here, so you've got, it's, it's not a huge kitchen, but it's completely, you've got a sink, cooker, you've got a water heater, fridge, fireplace, room for a table. It's and, big yeah, two separate uh, doorways, both to the exterior. And then you come in here, and this is very traditional going up there's just two steps up from the kitchen into the main house area here 
we've got a very typical design with the lounge and three rooms off at this particular one. So this one that we're looking at now is the first one there. You probably wouldn't. You could get a double bed in, but you wouldn't get any other furniture. This one here, well, it's a three-quarter bed, but I reckon you could get a double bed in there plus the wardrobe. Then maybe, it depends what your uses are, but maybe this one we're going to look at right now, maybe you'd actually take this wall out and just increase the living space of this area because the kitchen's got a small table in it. This would give you a lounge. And then there's also a lovely extra bit, which would have been a sort of winter lounge. There you go. You can see that detailing on the door there. That's quite nice. And it's all the, the doors and the shutters and the frames. The windows are new throughout the double glazing. Uh, this really is completely habitable. It's, it's, uh, you'll see the price afterwards. It's a bit of a bargain. So, yeah, this area with the windows actually really does increase your, your living space quite significantly. You can come in here and use it quite easily. Uh, something you will have noticed is that you haven't seen a bathroom yet. So... We're going to go and show you that now. It is just ever so slightly disconnected, but not very far. So if we go through this doorway, you'll find right in front of you is the bathroom. It's got a shower, WC, wash basin. Again, it's, it's all very usable. And this area here is covered. So, so now, if I'm going to go, I'm going to do an open door moment. So from here, I'll just say this area between the house and the bathroom is covered. You, 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 know, you don't have to go out in the rain or anything like that. You could actually just cover that bit there and it would be enclosed. Out here, we go to a really nice, rather large terrace. So here... It's all enclosed, private, uh, water on the outside, guttering even. Actually, there's guttering along. This, this is a bargain property. There's guttering along everywhere. And in here, you've got your barbecue. Again, fully functioning. Everything's clean, tidy, lovely. The guttering's all going to drains. I mean, there is actually quite a lot of detail on this property so should we go down the steps here it's actually a super bargain this one yeah i mean something i've never well i must have seen it before but actually there's a drainage hole to catch the water running off so there must be a tank i'm guessing a little bit but i suspect that might be a water tank now i'm wrong <laughs> i'm wrong okay so here if you look right, you can get in the gate. So there, if you wanted car access, that's where we're parked. That's the road outside. But again, you could just keep that car. I mean, it's very private. There's no one really here. Now, now we start to get into a little bit of a pickle of where we are. This is just storage. I don't know whether there's any point. You can go and have a look, but it's got a low ceiling. It's just a storage room. Good to have. Above my head is concrete beams, so this is reinforced. This is underneath the terrace where we were. Now, we go into... <laughs> you're going to get in here. We go into a part of the property that definitely needs renovating. What we've got, as lots of people like, this really nice old fireplace. That's the old bread oven. It's been, it's been blocked up. So here... The ceiling, I don't think that's sandwich, is it? I think no, that's probably no, no. just corrugate. 
but it's new and it can be insulated from the inside. Keeping it all dry. Yeah. Now again, the features here, like the fireplace and, you know, you could just get rid of this plaster and expose the stone. And for example, in this doorway, it's been painted. It's a shame you get that paint off. Look, they keep showing you these holes where the latches used to go in. But that's your original stone doorway. And in here, I mean, your beams are actually pretty... Your floor isn't. <laughs> <laughs> As you might have just seen a bit of a wobble. I think Paul just went through a board. The floor's not solid, but there's not far to fall. But they're, they are, you know, these, these are good. You can treat them and keep them. Um, God, that rhymed. In here is a little room that I've got no idea what you do with. It's like a larder. You'd rip this out, wouldn't you, I think? Yeah, you would just You'd rip open it everything you can here, you'd rip out. And then we go upstairs, which, if I remember correctly, is in better condition. It's where the bat was. We disturbed a bat, unfortunately. So, can you make it up here? Oh, there's a hatch. <laughs> you all right there? Actually, the ceiling height is pretty good. The windows here haven't been replaced. It's not double glazing. We've got pink, blimey, pink and green. So, yes, you have to get as much as you can. You, I mean, it's very quaint, but not particularly usable. So you'd probably just open this up onto one one room downstairs and one room upstairs and interlink it to the property. Yeah, I think, I think that's what you'd end up doing. Because you can easily interlink and you've got the bathroom downstairs. You can squeeze a two-bedroom place out of this. If you, if you, I mean, if you want to, you can, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's a property you're going to have to think about it because there's quite a lot of it. Shall I go down here? Okay, bright light out here. Meant to have rain this afternoon, doesn't look remotely like it. The weather's very peculiar at the moment. Now then, there's, hang on, not quite sure where I am. Have we just been in here? Can't have been. Have we, oh, that's where you nearly fell through the floor. Okay. Yeah, we have. <laughs> <laughs> right, and then this building on the end, at the moment, it's just storage. In fact, there's a great big hole in the floor for some reason. Don't fall in there. Yeah, they've been digging down here to see what kind of uh, height they can change, I'm guessing. It's, it's got a huge height, actually. This is enormous, really. Yeah. It's got lots of potential. And again, you might not want a chopper. It's uh, like a corrugate ceiling, but that can be insulated and kept because that's all new. Yeah, the important thing is it's keeping, keep, keeping it all dry. The, the hole's a bit interesting, but look, that's a window that's been blocked up there. Yeah. Now, in theory, you could, you could open it up again. And that I noticed that doorway. Are you looking at it? Yeah. I noticed that from the inside. So, actually, you can just open that up and interlink this. It'd be quite big. All linked up. This is quite a big house. So there's one bit which we've got to get to, which is the, the wooden staircase. I can't remember where on earth it is. Yeah, well, I was trying to point at it when we were in the room, but you were ignoring me. Oh. Now, which, so one urban house, two urban house. Is it in the end one? Yeah, just off the land. Right, just off the land, okay. So this, these are the three different properties. Okay, let's go in here. Yeah. As you can, literally, the, we, we just arrived here an hour ago, so this is why we're a bit lost. Um, was it in here, was it? It yeah, must go be. In the lounge. It must be, yeah. Go in the lounge. Yeah, sneaky. Right, this is going to be interesting for you with the camera. Shall I get you, let you go first in case you fall down and squash me? But the staircase is it's a little bit steep, but it's very well made. Wooden. And I think Paul's going to try and get down there with the camera without falling. Yeah, this might get a bit unsteady. 
<laughs> it's really cute. It's a bit mad. Nice bit of carpet. Oh, there's a shelf on the way down. Okay. And at the bottom. Okay, so this was part of the mill again, wasn't it? A dagger. Touch. It's the dagger, okay. But the height, I can't touch the ceilings. And this bit, ow, ow. <laughs> Well, it gave me a splinter, but it's solid. I mean, that's a really good solid beam. So, and it's and it's got, it's been reinforced, so it's held up by the pillar in the middle, or it's supported, let's say, not held up. Oh, actually, we could probably get a lovely shot of the staircase. It'd be a shame to move it. You don't find many. Look at this. Any. <laughs> Sorry, what? You don't find any staircases like that. Not no, look, look at this, it's lovely, absolutely lovely. Okay, so, whew, where do we go now? Turn around, you turn around and go out that way, I think. And what are you in now? Another room, the ceiling's lower in here. Ow. Yeah, we're all right for an entrance hall though. Yeah, absolutely. Because you've got, you still, you've got three entrances, about four actually, so... Or, or it, it'd be fine for a small bedroom actually, if you wanted to do that way. Yeah. Yes, it would. You could bring so, a window. Okay, and don't you by the hole behind you. <laughs> it's the back of the mill. <laughs> okay, so this is the back of the mill, yeah. That's where the water would have come out. I've just fallen in the hole, I mentioned. And the water would have gone along there, but that would have been a river, so it's dry. So this is also the boundary. The back of the mill is the boundary, and here is the boundary, okay? And then all the land on top of that wall. You can see the fruit trees where we were at the very beginning. So in summary of the house, um, there's, I'm sure there's details that we've missed. For example, you see the stonework here. This is unusual. Again, it's a, it's a shame it's been painted and it would be quite a bit of work to take that off. Not but really. if you get the paint, sorry? Why well, I brushed that, it wouldn't take yeah, off. Yeah, okay. Get the paint off. That's, it's dressed stone. I don't know the proper name when it's been treat, when it's been done like that. But it's a lovely feature and we're south facing, so I'm facing south at the moment, so pretty much all the properties are south facing. The land is going to get the sun all day. We have water and electricity connected. Sewerage is on a septic tank. We are, I would say, 10 minutes from Anxiao and 15 from Alviazare. Um, as I've said in previous videos, but you might not have seen them, so both of those towns have all your facilities, including schooling, health, health, health care centres and all supermarkets galore, hardware shops. We've got Pombal from Anshao. Pombal is your nearest big town. And from Alviazari, Tamar is your nearest big town. Uh, what, anything I've missed? No? So I'm just going to say thank you for watching. We'll put this up later. You'll see the price. I don't think this is going to be around too long. And... Uh, I hope you've liked the video. Please do literally like the video and please subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.